Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline and I create knitting content here on YouTube. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix mistakes. And in particular, I'm going to be showing you how to go from knit stitches to purl stitches. So this is a really useful trick if you're knitting and you basically have a really long row or something or you made a mistake further down in your work and you don't want to go all the way back across to find it. What you can do is you can just go down to the previous row and fix that mistake. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to go from knitting stitches to purl stitches. And in a separate video I have, I show how to go from purl stitches back to knit stitches. So I'll be sure to link that video down below as well. So the different ways I'm going to show it are first, I just have single stitches that I'm going to go, and these are on the previous row. I'm going to go from a knit stitch to a purl bump. Then I'm going to show how to do it when you have two in a row that you want to fix. So basically I'd want to change both of these to purl bumps. And then lastly, I'm going to show how to go further down in your work to switch all these knit stitches to purl stitches. I also want to note that I do the method where I don't use a crochet hook. I just use my knitting needles because I find that's more useful. And a lot of times I don't have a crochet hook. So, but there is also another method where you can use a crochet hook. So to start off, I'm just going to go across to where that first mistake is. So I want to just finish. So where my mistake is the next stitch I would work on my left needle. So there's my first mistake. You can see that that one is basically appears like a knit stitch instead of a purl bump. So what I want to do is I want to take my right needle point and go behind my work and underneath that knit stitch. So that basically I pick it up and now I want to slide that off of my left needle. Now I'm going to put the stitch back on my left needle and just pull that strand out from my work. So basically you just have this big bar hanging there now. And now to go back to a purl stitch, I want to take this bar and I want to put it on my knitting needle, my left hand knitting needle to the left hand side of that stitch I'm trying to fix. Now the final step here is I want to take my right knitting needle point and basically go from underneath, go up in between the two stitches. Then I'm going to pick up that inner stitch or the bar and then pull it through the center. And now you can see I have a purl bump there. And typically when I finish, I have a twisted stitch. So now I'm just going to take my left needle point over towards the inside of that stitch and untwist it. So now I've just switched that one stitch from a knit stitch to a purl stitch. So now again, I haven't purled it yet on this row. So I'm going to purl into that and then I'll show it to you one more time. So here's another one I would want to fix. So I'm going to take my right needle point going to go underneath that bar, pull it off my left needle. Now I'm going to put it back on my left needle, pull out that bar. Now I want to take the bar and I want to put it to the left hand side of that stitch. And now I want to take my right needle point, go up in between the two, then go down and pull that bar through the center of the stitch. And then the last step is to untwist it. So now I can just continue purling that stitch and work across the rest of my stitches. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to do two in a row. So here are two in a row that I'd like to fix. So I'm actually going to take, you can do each one individually, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bar out of both of them first and then fix them both at the same time. So I'm going to take my right needle point underneath that knit stitch in the back, pull it off my needle, and then do the exact same thing on the second one. Now I'm going to slide them back, both back over to my left needle and pull out that strand. So you'll just see it's a really long strand this time. <laughs> the more stitches you do, the longer it gets. And now to do this first stitch, I'm just going to take this bar and put it to the left hand side of the first stitch. Now you can hold it a little bit so it isn't quite as long and it makes it a little easier to work with. But again, you want to go up in between the stitch and the bar, wrap your knitting needle around that bar and then pull it through the center of the stitch. So there's the first one fixed. Now again, I'm going to pick up what's left of the bar, 
put it to the left hand side of that stitch, go up in between, pull the bar through the center of the stitch. Now I just need to untwist both of them. And now I can purl each of those stitches. So that's how I would do it if there's more than one in a row that you need to fix. And now lastly, what should you do when there's multiple rows in a row? So to do this, I'm again gonna go down my work. So I'm actually gonna take out each one of these and then I'm gonna build them back up as purl stitches all at once. So I'm gonna go underneath that first one and it makes it a little easier too to tell how many you have here. So I have one, two, three, four purl stitches. Sorry, four knit stitches. I'm gonna take my right needle point, go underneath the first one, slide it off, and I'm just gonna pull the bar on that one first. Gonna go underneath the next one, pull that bar out, underneath the next one, And then finally, all the way down here to the last one. So now I have four bars in a row, starting at the bottom and then going all the way up. And the way I wanna pick up each one of these bars is I wanna go in that exact same order where I start at the bottom and I go back out. So I'm gonna start off with that first one down at the bottom. Again, I need my strand over towards the left-hand side and I'm gonna do it the exact same way where I take my right needle point, pull the bar through the center of the stitch, untwist it. Now I'm gonna go and use that next bar in the order. And I'm just gonna continue going all the way up using each one of those bars. So now all those knit stitches have been switched to purl stitches. And now I could continue going all the way across the row. So again, in this video, I showed how to go from knit stitches to purl stitches. And in a separate video, I show how to go from purl stitches back to knitting stitches. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you next time.